Hi guys, welcome at Photoshop Island. My name is Jelge and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful special morning sunlight. You can only catch it a few times a year, but with Photoshop you can create it anytime. You know, you see it also in the fairy tales. This is a photo taken at a little farmhouse I stayed for maybe a week in France. It's near the coast. I really enjoyed staying there. It was great for taking pictures and for nice walks. And I would have dreamed about being able to take a picture like this. The only problem is you have to wake up early in the morning. And I'm not much of a morning man, so I had to Photoshop the photo. My original photo was like this. Less spectacular, don't you think? And, well, this is like a fairy tale, don't you think? It's really, it's beautiful. Look at the sunlight. You can see the hobbits working the fields. It's almost a Lord of the Rings setting. So... What is the, the way to do this? Well, for example, or for starters, this is only the simple part. We're not going to use that because that will be cheating. We are creating a new layer. So you find the layer here, a new layer. Then we want to make the sunbeam kind of idea, you know, from light to dark or light to dark and fading. So we go to the gradient tool. And the gradient, you can find it behind the paint bucket tool. Most of you will mainly have the paint bucket tool open here, but there's also a hiding the gradient tool. And when you have the gradient tool open, you will see the options for the gradients here. And if you have white as a foreground color here and you need white for this, it will show the option, the preset from white to transparent. If not, then just set it on these options. Here you can see the way the gradient should be and we want a radial gradient. So select the radial gradient that will have an effect like this. Now, we don't want it at that position. Now, depending on from how far you want the sunlight and the sunbeams to come and from how high I'd like to take a corner. Um, you start somewhere at some point and just drag a line into another position. Let's say we want it here and we choose to have it in this direction now this is a lot of white over here so maybe i well, maybe i should have put it a bit further over there but that's okay we don't mind and now of course this isn't enough so remember we have to keep this on normal this layer but we will visit the photo filter option now and the photo filter option is amazing because what does it do well with the warmer filter we're using it just warms your picture and there you go now as you can see now we have a warm orange kind of picture but that's not enough that's not exactly what we're looking for so we just use the overlay setting here and there is your picture with that great light in the morning and that great setting and you see the complete setting of the little farm the tree and the fence I just make a little map here so you can see the different it's so much different and it's so much more special than with the photo you you actually took now we're going to do the same with a nice picture of the forest here because the forest you know if you go to the forest early in the morning the light is really special now this picture wasn't taken early in the morning but we do want that special light so it's basically the same create a new layer and then here I want it from a bit further away so let's take that position so it's not that white and bright over here we go to the photo filter and again we're gonna use a warming filter the color orange and then the setting will be overlay now again it's a wonderful setting the the forest has this glow this warmth it's like in a fairy tale this is how you like your pictures to be this was the normal uh, picture and this is how it become i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can use it on all kinds of pictures but especially pictures of nature uh, that's it's great so enjoy it uh, use it and if you have any questions let me know if you like it, I love to see a like and subscribe to my channel. 
I hope to see you in the next tutorial.